Welcome to the NHC GOP podcast Friday update. I'm Rule Sample. Earlier this week, the President of the United States decided to play politics with the most important Christian holiday of the year, Easter, and overrode it by promoting the International Day of Transgender Visibility. So in the spirit of being visible, we wanted to give you the Republican view on the transgender community. If you are an adult and want to dress and act like a person of the opposite sex, we support your freedom to do so. If you want to undergo various operations, and again, if you are an adult, go ahead. Many in our party may disagree with what you want to do, but we will fight like heck to protect your right to the freedom of expression that allows you to do it. Just like we will fight for your right to protect yourself, your right to be free from excessive government intervention and taxation. So when Democrats say that we are against you in the transgender community, trying to stop your freedom of expression, they are lying. We do draw the line in some places, though. Let me point out three of them. Line one, children. In short, leave them alone. Children, by definition, are developing their identities and worldviews. That gender fluidity, to borrow a term from the left, is all part and parcel of being a child. Children need to be left alone to figure out who they are. Instead, the radical left and their Democrat allies want to start puberty blockers and other treatments in girls as young as eight years old. According to an AP article published June 15, 2022, the World Professional Association for Transgender Health says, quote, The new guidelines include starting medication called puberty blockers in the early stages of puberty, which for girls is around ages 8 to 13 and typically two years later for boys. That's no change from the group's previous guidance. The drugs delay puberty and give kids time to decide about additional treatment. Their effects end when the medication is stopped. End quote. The problem is, the effects do not end. They have long-term consequences. According to the American College of Pediatrics, quote, temporary use of puberty blockers has been associated with and may be the cause of many serious permanent side effects, including osteoporosis, mood disorders, seizures, cognitive impairment, and, when combined with cross-sex hormones, sterility. End quote. In other words, we don't allow children to smoke because their bodies cannot handle it. They are, allow- they are not allowed to make any- most medical decisions because they do not understand them. They cannot even get a tattoo in most states until their mid-teens at the earliest. The Democrats, however, want you to believe that it is all right to make life-altering decisions for them in elementary school just because little Mary is being a tomboy or Johnny likes to play with dolls, all in the name of transgender freedom. While Republicans believe that parents should be the primary voice and guidance for their children, we will diligently protect children even from their parents if we have to, in order that those children may be free to grow to make their own decisions about their identities when they become adults themselves. We will work to put laws in place that heavily restrict chemical and surgical gender alteration for children. Period. Line 2. Women's Sports. If you were born a guy, you cannot play on the girls' team. End of story. It does not matter how long you have been transitioned. We don't care how long you have been taking blockers. Men's bone structure and physical abilities are different from women from birth. And women of all ages are paying the consequences in both the advancement from winning at events to simply being physically brutalized on the playing field. From the New York Post, October 22, 2022, The Cherokee County Board of Education in North Carolina voted last month to forfeit girls' volleyball games against a rival school after a transgender athlete reportedly injured a player with a spike. 
The board voted 5-1 on September 21st of that same year for Hiawassee Dam High School to forfeit all girls volleyball matches against Highland School after a Hiawassee Dam player reportedly suffered head and neck injuries from a spike from the Highlands transgender athlete, end quote. Republicans are often accused of waging war against women, of trying to take away women's rights and denying them equal opportunity. Yet it is the Democrats and their left allies that are allowing even untransitioned men and boys to play against girls, allowing them to be injured and dominated, It is the Democrats who want boys and men to use the girls' locker room to change in the name of gender identity and transgender rights. Republicans will protect women and women's sports. We will protect men's sports. We will protect girls in locker rooms and reintroduce the concept that a man who goes into a girl's bathroom needs to be introduced to the men's bathroom in the local jail. Line 3. Defining any disagreement as transphobic and hate speech. While Democrats constantly berate Republicans as being intolerant, it is actually the Democrats and their leftist allies that are themselves intolerant of anyone who disagrees with them. Hence, anyone who thinks that biological men should not change in the same room as women is transphobic, instead of simply thinking that men and women should have their own spaces. We are told that we hate the transgender community because we stand in the way of allowing children to be altered in their formative years. Just as Republicans will defend the rights of adults to dress and live as they choose, so do we and will we defend the rights of those who disagree with their lifestyles to express their views in a civilized manner. Disagreeing with someone is not hating them nor is affirming the existence of two sexes and genders an expression of fear towards those who think differently. So, in short, Republicans believe that if you are an adult and want to live as another sex, that's your right. If you are a man, you cannot play against a woman in sports, nor change in the woman's locker room. In this country, we all have the right to express our opinions, even if those opinions are different from our own and leave the children alone. For the NHC GOP Podcast, I'm Rule Sample. Thanks for listening.